I am running for president because, like so many of you in this room, I'm a parent and I'm a patriot. I have seen the future that lies ahead for our children, and it is not something I am willing to accept. For all the real progress that we've made, we know it's not enough. Our economy doesn't work as well or grow as fast when a few prosper at the expense of a growing middle class. I saw millions of young people who were not starting families, let alone businesses, because they couldn't pay their bills. I saw millions of young people who were buried under a mountain of debt and trapped in their parents' basements. I saw record high levels of anxiety, stress, depression, mental illness, even suicides and drug overdoses to the point that our country's life expectancy has declined for three years in a row. While the top 1% has amassed a bigger share of wealth and income, too many of our families in inner cities and in rural counties have been left behind. The laid off factory workers, the waitress or healthcare worker who's just barely getting by and struggling to pay the bills, convinced that the game is fixed against them. The next wave of economic dislocations won't come from overseas. It will come from the relentless pace of automation that makes a lot of good middle-class jobs obsolete. And so we're going to have to forge a new social compact. Now what is this new way forward? What is the vision? If you've heard anything about me and my campaign, you've heard this. There's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. Now think about what a thousand dollars a month would actually mean in your hands, in the hands of your friends and neighbors. It would mean lower stress levels. It would mean fewer arguments with your spouse. It would mean being able to retire with dignity. It would mean not having to choose between car repairs and new clothes for your kids. It's not about the money, it's about what it means to us.